Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the, the PCIe connection cable for the graphics card power. Uh, there are many type of uh, connections. I mean, basically there is 8 pin and 6 pin and there is multiple uh, cables. So the, I believe the new 3000 RTX has a new form of 12 pin which is not in the picture right now. So let's go with the standard ones. So what are the type of uh, connectors available? Most of the decent graphics car, I mean power supply these days should come with at least one six pin connector which should should look like this. And uh, which if it was, if it is around 500 watts, it should at least have one. Maybe it has uh, a, a child or a joining piece here connected it's an extra ground so that makes it totally this is the 8 pin connector and sometimes if you have a very good power supply 600 plus watts you might have two of these so that is the two 8 pin connector required to power most of the graphics card at least one graphics card in these days and I'm going to show you the type of connectors that is there for graphics card so you quickly know what is being used and how to connect now here we have the GTX 1050 Ti and the best thing about this is it does not require any power connection so this card if you have just plug it in it takes the power from the motherboard 75 watts maximum so it the motherboard can provide that so I'm going to put this aside and next we have another graphics card which is requires the six pin now sometimes the pin is placed in this way sometimes it's placed reverse you would know if you look at the clip and here we only need this clip here so that you're just going to see the orientation and plug it in so make sure the card is inserted into the motherboard and now plugging it in and then and some of the cards would have an indicator light showing whether it's connected properly and it's activated or not so how to remove it just press this one and pull it back wiggle it pull it back it's done so we have the six pin and next we are going to look at the single eight pin so single eight pin you as i told you this is mounted reverse so the connection should be placed in this way it's always best to install the ground first and if you look it will only go in one particular way and it's better you, you need to push it in uh, it's supposed to go here and then insert this clip and you heard the click so it's inside same goes for the removal remove this first and then take this out so this is the 8 pin connector and next we have the 8 plus 6 on this one which would require 2 so same like what I said before and the orientation is different it's upwards so probably this one goes in here and then you plug in the 8 pin so it's plugged in and then you get the second one and then you plug in the second one uh, only the six pin so here you go you, do, you are not going to connect this you push it in you heard the notch and the lock it's done when you remove remove the six pin first and then you remove the eight pin so that's about this one and then we have the behemoth the 1080 ti which requires two eight pin again it is the same so we have the six pin at uh, two eight pins so let's see this is one goes in here and then I'm going to plug this. So you heard the lock sound. So here also I'm going to use the same way. Plug this here and then push this down. So it's plugged in and this one has LEDs as I said it will clearly show whether it's plugged in or not and these are required and these are the right way to do it can remove it by doing the same way in reverse so i hope you all learned something today how to plug in the power and what are the type of power please when you get a graphics card make sure you already have the kind of connectors in the pc from the power supply and you know the ratings on the graphics card to be sure that our power supply can handle your graphics card thank you for watching have a wonderful day